everyone, this is Rachel. Welcome to my Fallout 4 survival mode playthrough. So I'm here at the castle. I'd like to show you how I've built up the place. There were so many trees around this whole um, settlement that I got a ton of wood, a lot more than I'm used to. But I decided not to build any really major structures, but just use the, um, basically just the castle. I'd like to give you a quick tour of everything. And the views are pretty insane. Like, no matter where you are, um, I did think about making kind of like a big house for myself, like on overlooking one of these corners, especially maybe over here because of the views. But the size limitation, I'm not modding my game, so I, you know, I didn't really have enough like so I couldn't, I couldn't do that and have everything else that I wanted here. So I put up a ton of turrets all over the place. I got rid of the guard posts. They had a few here and there. And over time, you'll notice um, all the Mirelurk egg stuff and all the, like, just all the crap that was everywhere, it disappeared, thankfully. So now it looks really clean and nice. So yeah, I've got a ton of turrets everywhere. And you kind of see in this courtyard, I'm growing corn and mute fruit. I've got two patio tables down there. And, um, I like, I really like how they have the radio. It's, like, always broadcasting really nice music. So I didn't really want the sound of the generators in the courtyard. So I moved them. So you kind of see I have this, um, pylon going through here. And everything is actually getting linked over by the water purifier, which I think is over here. Yeah, so here's the water purifier. So I put all of my generators out here so I'll just go down here I've got four big ones I might add another one depending like I don't know so far it seems like four is doing all the work but everything they gave us so many connections so it was I decided to just link everything here outside the walls that way the sound of the generators isn't like it's kind of loud the same thing with the turrets but the turrets are up all on the all on the wall so it's not that bad but it's just so cool. I love how they gave us so much um, energy capability. So um, I just put a scavenging station here. And then so let's go inside. Uh, I guess we can start over here. So this is the medical area. I still haven't put a settler here. Once I get more, I'm going to add someone to be here at this station. Uh, but here's the chemistry thing here. And then... Um, so all the way at the end, I have this kind of weird room right here. I decided to um, add a bathroom. <laughs> so if you open this door, <laughs> there's like these faucets here. And if you go around the corner, there's a toilet and a bathtub for privacy. <laughs> so it's kind of, a, I don't know, I just thought it would be kind of, because they had these faucets along the wall. And I was like, hmm, this kind of looks like a bathroom. And I put these really awesome retro lights that I, I think I picked up a magazine that opened up those. Uh, pretty cool looking light. So there's one in here as well. I really like those. We close the door. Oh, dog beats go and take a poop. So here I put some beds in here. Just a few. Everyone's got their own suitcase underneath their bed. He's done. <laughs> and I put these really awesome paintings on the wall and this really cool retro light. Alright, so if you continue now. I left this stuff all open. I'm still trying to decide what to do with a lot of these little nooks and crannies. But this is another room that I added some more beds. And I've got these really awesome paintings. Um, the light kind of like makes my video card freak out. You see that? It looks really weird. But this one looks okay. <laughs> so I've got like these like revolution era type paintings. Um, I've got this nice little seating area. Some more beds for settlers. And then this big rock thing. Like, it's kind of hard to put anything here because it, the ground is on level. So, and then over here, um, I've got a little kitchen area, just a stove and tables, you know, seating. This one over here is my favorite room. I put a lot of light in here. You kind of see it's got the retro light. It's got this nice little seating area for settlers and um, tons of beds. This room has definitely got the most beds for everybody. So they, it came with this um, clock, which is really cute. But I just tried to put a lot of paintings on the wall and just a lot of stuff everywhere. Here's one of my settlers. So yeah, I mean, we get all these nice interior rooms. So I didn't really feel the need to build any other structures. So 
um, that's pretty much it for the castle. I don't really have that much room left to build more. If you look at my workshop, it's in yellow the size. So I don't really have the capability to add too much more. Maybe a little bit like in these little rooms right here. But um, the defense is up to 70, pretty high. The water from that purifier is, is 40. The food's kind of low, but um, I am connected to the supply line, so... Yeah, I do have everything connected, so... I think they get their food that way, too. So right now I'm just kind of waiting for more and more sellers to get here. I added a uh, basketball hoop there. Oh, and over here I added two Brahmin things, so when I get them eventually, they can go in there. But that's pretty much it for the castle. Um, so thank you so much for watching this part of the video. The second half of the video, I'm going to be continuing onwards. I'm not really sure where I'm going to be going. I, For the last couple of videos, my whole goal was just to get to this castle. But uh, Preston, he did give me a ton of new quests. So I would like to have more settler settlements. That would be really nice, actually. Because if you see in my workshop, I was running so low on wood. But now, let's see how many. I've got 852 wood. That is so much more than I've ever had in a really, really long time. And my steel is doing pretty good, around 2,000. So I am definitely on the lookout for more settlements. Um, let me just save it really quick. And in terms of workshops though, um, I do have, uh, I've been building up every single place that I've found. And, uh oh, Grey Garden needs beds. Oberlin is unhappy, that's, I just kind of ignore the ones that say unhappy, it's fine. <laughs> but okay, let's go to Grey Garden because they need beds. So let's go there first. They've got a lot of people. They've got 16 people. Well, actually, some of those people are robots, so it looks like I just need to add more beds for humans. Alright, Mr. Dog Meat. So, we're here at Great Garden. It's dark. Let's see what I can do. If I go upstairs. So, I added... There, all I did was really give them this one room, but... Um, oh, I have a Brom in here. Did I ever put down a feeding thing? Yes. I don't think I ever did, Mr. Brahmin. Let's give him somewhere to go. Yeah, right here is fine where he is. So let's see, what is that under? Miscellaneous? Yeah. Hello, Mr. Brahmin. I'll put down two just in case there's more than one. So he can use that, but I do real I do know that I can build on the bridge, and I haven't done that yet. So, yeah, let me give this place some tender loving care, some TLC, and I'll show you what I'm what I'm going to do here. Alright, so I'm going to show you what I got here at Grey Garden, what I added to the place. I needed to make room for more settler beds and stuff, but I did decide to illuminate this area a bit better. There's some floodlights, just a lot of lights. I put a turret up on this guy, but um, this whole section on the left is new, so before... This used to be the only entrance into the building. Uh, up the stairs. And here. But now I broke down this back wall. So there used to be a wall here. So now I added some stairs just to get down into this room. So um, this one's got more beds. This is my favorite part is this big chandelier light. Like this retro thing overlooking this awesome window of everything. And um, I've got some nice paintings over here. And there's some light in here, but everyone's got their own suitcase under their bed and stuff. Um, that's pretty much all I added except for over here, some patio tables, so they're good to go. I did talk to Mr. Green and I bought some more, where is he? He's in here somewhere. <laughs> I bought more wood from him, he always has shipments of wood, so I feel like I have got a lot of wood. So I would definitely like to find a new settlement and start building there. So if we look at our quest, I've got this Raider Troubles at Green Top Nursery. And I think I'm gonna aim for this one just because it's over here by this mold and center stuff. I did, uh, like there's this hospital that was um, a really fun one. I cleared out a bunch of mutants here. 
Um, so, but I never had a chance to look at the Molden Middle School. I remember that was one I was meaning to get back to. So let's go over here. Let's fast travel to, let's fast travel to, um, yeah, we might as well go directly to Molden Middle School. So let's go there. And so yeah, I guess the settlement part of my video is over. The la the second half is just going to be uh, more adventure -y. So thank you guys, whoever's been interested in just the settlement videos, That thank you guys so much for watching that part. And if you have any suggestions, hints on building workshop stuff, feel free to add that in the comments. Alright, Mr. Dogmeat. So, um, this is the middle school that we never had a chance to, like, basically scavenge. So there's going to be a lot of fun stuff to pick up for my settlements. So let's see what's here. Uh-oh. Dog meat, you gotta get out of the way, man. Dog meat! Uh-oh. Oh, it does go downstairs? Oh, there's a basement. Oh, cool. Let's do that. Let's take a look at the top first. Um, I, I have to be... I Whenever I saw glowing fungus, I used to never pick it up, but now, now I know I can use it to create right away. So, whenever I find it, I'm definitely, you know, picking that stuff up. Ooh, a broken lamp. Anything else in here, Mr. Dog Meat? And it's just some stuff. Can I pick that up? Well, usually I can. The Red Death. Oh my god, that is not good. Alright, so I think in terms of... Oh, there's some stuff up here. Camera. Oh, a Baltic lab coat. That's nice. Let's make sure we pick up everything in these lockers. There's always something good in here. And this room. Just some ammo. Mr. Dog. Alright, so let's go check out that basement. I guess that's the only place we can... Re oh, wait, there's something in here. Let's go see what's in the creepy basement. I'm sure there's something super creepy. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Dog Meat. Who is down here? Oh, wow. Oh, is that a vault? <gasps> oh my god. I think there's a vault in here that no one knew about. Oh wow, that is pretty surprising. Uh oh, dog meat. What if they're what if they're crazy? Vaults are never. There's always something going on in a vault. Who's there? Are they gonna attack me? Oh wow, they are. They're not friendly. Uh oh, watch out, dog meat. <laughs> uh oh, oh they're gunners. Uh oh. What the heck is she doing? Oh, she has like a one of those knuckle things. Hold still, man! Let's change back to this. Ow. What else is in there? Let's see if I get- I've got a ton of frag grenades. I got 27. I'm trying to use these things up. Can I get that bar? Oh, not really. He's a corporal! Uh oh, he's about to kill me. Uh oh. Yeah! Holy crap! <laughs> Alright, dog me, let's go in closer. Uh oh. That was not the greatest idea ever. 
I almost died. I've got this queen Mirelark meat from killing that Mirelark queen. Let me try to heal myself since I'm about to die. Oh my god. A power fist. That's what it was. Hmm. So is this a vault? It sure looks like one. A vault underneath the middle school. Got a teddy bear all. Lots of teddy bears. And wooden blocks. Mr. Dog meat. Mr. Dog meat. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, he had a plasma rifle. No wonder why I was getting owned by him. It said automatic pistol. Automatic. Let's say automatic plasma rifle. Wow. The, the damage is not very good because I'm not very good at automatic guns. Let's keep taking a look. Uh, see what's in here. Bobby pins. Safety first. Yep, I know what you're thinking. Admissions terminal. Let's try to find, figure out what this place is. Let's read about it. Press release. Bolt tech to subsidize enrollment for Malden families. In response to growing national concern for the safety of our children and the event of a nuclear attack, Bolt tech officials have cooperated with local, local government in Malden, Massachusetts to provide subsidized enrollment fees for any families wishing to sign up for residency in Vault 75. Okay, this is Vault 75. <laughs> the newly opened vault is attached directly to Malden's elementary school, ensuring a swift evacuation should an attack come during class time. Safe safeguarding the future has always been our priority. The opening of Vault 75 gives, gives us all extra peace of mind, knowing that the children of Malden will be safe, even if the worst comes to pass. Um, so these are the rules. One or more enrolled family members are children under the age of 15. And special admission protocols. All residents are subjected to a standard admission protocols, blah, blah, blah. Once residents have been verified and sanitized, children under the age of 17 are to be taken to the atrium area. There they will meet with the overseer who will provide orientation information specific to the children. All right, so obviously they're probably experimenting on these children and we've got, um, oh, they're all boys. Steven, Ashley, David, Michael, Caleb, Joey, Elliot, and Emery. They're all boys. That's kind of weird. Why would they all be boys? Well, let's figure that out. Let's go in here and see what happens. Let's descend. Going down. Alright. I'm going to save it right here and check how long my video is. I might split this up into two videos. Alright, I'm good. I've got about 10 to 15 minutes, so let's see what I can get done in that time. I'm guessing there's going to be a lot more uh, gunners. Oh, here's one. I like his hairdo. <laughs> I'll go loot everything when I'm done. I think I'd like to like go through this a little bit quickly. Um... Cause it might be pretty big. Let's see. Wow, I love the style of everything. Like the way it looks. Very, very cool. It doesn't look like like all the vaults. They don't look exactly the same. Uh oh. I need to find a card. I need to find a card. Let's pick up some ammo. Oh my god. So many pipes and stuff. Reactor feed. This does not look like a happy place for children. So something tells me they were experimenting or doing something and they probably killed all their parents. Oh, this one looks like Vault 81 a little bit. 
Uh oh, he's legendary. Huh? Where is he? Oh. Oh god, dog me those bathroom! <laughs> oh, there he is. Uh oh. See if I can soften him up a bit. Die! Oh my god! <laughs> Where did you come from? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> oh my god, lady! Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Dog meat. Don't let me die. Alright, a Nuka Cola. I think I shall take that Nuka Cola. Make myself feel a little bit better. Alright, this guy's like. He's like barely hurt. Uh-oh. <laughs> Take that! Uh-oh, I'm getting hit in more than one spot. This is not good. This is not good! Oh, he's mutated. Uh-oh. No! He must die. Uh-oh. No, I gotta get out of this area. Let's go hide in here. Oh my god! Open the door. What is this place? Oh wow, it's so big! Oh, that's the that's the card reader. I guess I could have just went around. Hmm. Let's see if I can shoot him in the leg. Uh oh. <laughs> Hit the wall. Take that! I'm like stuck on something. There, he's dead. And I'm almost dead. There's one on this upper level. Alright, he's dead. Uh oh, there's one in there. Dog me! Uh oh. Uh oh! <laughs> what is he doing? Is that a knife? Uh oh, I can't eat right now. <laughs> he's got a knife. You're dead. He's got a ripper. Where are they? Oh. Die! <laughs> Die! Oh my god, what is going on in this place? Holy crap, what is in here? It's a playroom for little kids! Do you see this? It's a playroom. Well, there's a swing set, but let's... Uh-oh. <laughs> ah! What the frick? Doggy, don't let him kill me! Uh-oh. Oh, stay back, you little tick! <laughs> oh my god, I thought I killed him. There we go. Oh my god. So, yeah, it looks like they had a little playground for the kitties. And I don't think I can get up there. We're gonna have to find another way around. Hmm. Yeah, let's go, let's go this way. This apparently, well, this one goes down though. I don't know how to go upstairs. These lockers. Let's go. I guess we're gonna descend. Let's quick save it. See who's down here. Let's hit him in the leg. I never hit them in the leg. Maybe it'll slow him down. Uh oh. What the 
heck is that gun? The freak is that? Uh oh, I should probably change my gun. Let's take a med X and a stim and a jet. And let's change to my shoddy. Is it this one that I like? Yeah. Alright, lady. You're going down right in your face. Or is this a guy? I can't tell. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That gunner's only halfway. What the freak? Come on, kill him. Oh my god, what are you shooting me with? Oh my god, I'm almost dead. That green goo gun almost killed me. I have to hide right here. I'm not going to go out there until my health is like going very slowly up. <gasps> oh my god. What the heck was that? Marty's metal left leg temporarily slows time. Okay. Oh, it's a plasma rifle. Oh my god, that screwed me up so bad. That really, really hurt. Yeah, I need more health. I'm like running around with no health right now. Let's take this. Let's just slow down a bit because my health is still not the greatest. What are you doing, dog meat? Laboratory and observation. This looks like a medical area. Wow, this place is humongous. Bathrooms. <gasps> oh my god, she was waiting for me in the bathroom. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Killer. Hey, I've hid it in bathrooms before. <laughs> I know that they're happy places to hide in. The freak is this place? Wow, this does not. <laughs> what the heck is that room? Does it say? I don't know what that room is. Oh, these are treadmills. See, they were totally, they were totally testing these kids. Bunch of ammo. Bunch of, uh oh, I think they were training them to be, oh my god, look at this place. Uh oh. A gunner commander, uh oh. He's hard, he's not dying very easily. You're gonna have to snipe him in the window. <laughs> You're pissing me off. Where is he? Where is he? Yes! That hurt him. Oh, he's going back to this one, I think. Come on, Peek! Peek, man, Peek! Uh oh, my jet worn off. Few more shots and he's dead. This is really weird. It's like a little, there's like a town in here. Maybe they were like training the kids to be like infiltrators. <laughs> there we go, all right, he's dead. Wow, look at this place. It's like a fake freaking town. It's so cool though. The heck? Wow. Let's see what's in this. It's locked. It doesn't have a hard lock on it though. What's in That's here? It. Just rat X? A radio? Mr. Dog Me, are you weirded out? Because I am. 
It's like a fake building. Like, what the heck? They got scientists in here. They're like dead. This fake diner. Um, he had a scoped calibrated assault rifle. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, oh, an access card. Uh, access the laboratory area. I'm like carrying too much. <sighs> Let's drop some stuff. Um, where's that ripper? Let's drop that. What the heck is that? This is so strange. All right, so we have an access card. Let's see where we can get like access to. Let's quick save it. Um, I'm not sure exactly where. Oh, wait, it was over here. Up the stairs. Cause this is like, I thought we were on the other side. Oh, maybe this is new. Oh, overseer. Oh, the card. <gasps> oh. Oh wow, this place is huge. Oh my god. What the? <laughs> what? Come out! Come on! He's dead. Oh wow! Oh my God! It's like glass floors. Die! Oh, he got vaporized. Wow, this place is humongous. She's dead. She dropped a laser pistol. Take that! Oh my god, lady! <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm reloading! Don't shoot me! Oh my god. I'm about to die. Shoot my dog. Uh oh, he's legendary. Uh oh. <gasps> oh, I better get the hell out of here. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I'm about to die! <laughs> Back off! Alright, let's take some eat. I'm seriously about to die. Let's take another this and a medic. I'm gonna change my weapon to my 44. Wait till my health gets a little bit higher. <gasps> oh my god, that was rude. Did that hurt? I hope it hurt you, man. Take another one. Oh sh! There's a bounty on you. Oh my god, that is not. That's not hurting him enough. <laughs> This gun has really good damage, but it's hard to use the... Oh, uh, no, I don't... I don't really like that. Oh, God, I guess we'll hit him there. Oh, my God! Not feeling good. Not feeling good, man. Go back to my shoddy. Dog me! You're gonna get blown up! <laughs> Just keep throwing grenades! That hurt him? Yes! Yes! Alright, he has- Oh, a bobblehead! <gasps> this is my- Okay, I only have three! This is my third one! Always be prepared to explain the hows and the whys. Get one extra guess when hacking terminals. Okay. Oh my god. I finally got another bobblehead. It's been a while. Oh, we're like right above the diner thing. 
Ah. Oh my god, that's so cool. Alright, so let's see if I can get into that room. Where the overseer was. What where was it over here? I think it was over here. Yes! Yes! Oh my god. Huh? Uh oh, someone in here. He's running away! Uh oh. <laughs> He's got a ripper! Take that! Take another one! Uh oh. Whoa, someone else? Uh oh. <laughs> He's trying to like saw me! Oh my god. <laughs> Dog meat, like pushing him into me. Oh my god. <laughs> they really like rippers here. Alright, so is this the... Oh my god. What is this thing? It's like a super computer. So I've got two doors here. One's advanced. Um, I can get in here. I've got the ability. So let's peek in here really quick. Oh, that was easy. Sweet. Um, uh oh, where this is where they kept the children, maybe? There's bathrooms and showers. Kind of creepy, if you ask me. But they've got comfy pillows! Alright, let's go see what's in the overseer's thing. Oh, wow. Uh oh. We've got some major baddies in here. Uh oh! <laughs> Dog me, I'm trying to throw a nade. Do I, am I allowed or something? Dog me's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Where's my fragrant? Oh, let's just use baseball grenades. Take that! Where'd he go? Oh, he's over there. Whoops. Die! Die! Uh-oh, I'm about to die. Oh my god. I'm about to die, man. Let's take another freaking medex and a red scorpion steak. Mmm, yummy. I need to wait a little. I'm about to seriously die. Where is he? Stay back, you freaking... Psycho! Oh my god. Can't play catch, man. I'm still about to die. I'm like, oh god! He's following me! He's following me. No more of you. Dude, you have to die, like, right now. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Thank you. Very much. Yes, dog me. We are invincible. Um expert door. Now what is this overlooking? Looks like the whole atrium area. And this is the terminal, so looks like we can find out. Oh, let's go into this master lock. It might have the ability to unlock it somewhere, but I'll just try to do it myself. If I can find a sweet spot. Uh oh, it's somewhere over there. Eh. Where was it? I lost it. There it is. Got it. We've got a lot of good stuff in here. And let's see if we can get in here. Ooh, his personal bathroom and look an overseer safe key, which I probably couldn't use that. <laughs> wow, look at this shower. He had a very nice uh oh. Nice. A critical hits increase, Grodnak the barbarian. 
and a bunch of good stuff in there. I'll take everything on my way out. Alright, so let's read about this pe about these people. Um, yeah, I could have opened up both of them. So, Vault 75 status unknown. Genome preservation online. Oh, they were researching people's DNA? Let's see. Overseer's log. Worried about the new recruit in science. He's supposed to be on simple observation duties and closely monitored until the subjects he knows in population have been processed. I know we've done this many, many times before, but something about this one feels wrong. Not sure I should have let myself be talked into it. We're having a capacity problem in the nursery. We are as full as... We are as full as we can be in IVFS, but introducing more residents to the population is going to be problematic. I prefer to wait until the next turnover. We'll have to discuss, discuss, blah, blah, blah. Um, some kind of wiring issue caused a fire in the archive. Maybe it was sabotage. Um, some of the locks failed. Hmm. Did I go into that nursery area? I don't remember. And I guess this is about... Oh, they had annual turnover? Children over the age of 18 must be removed from the general population. They're graduating? Oh god, what are they doing here? Um, ge oh, they're looking for people with genetic promise for genome harvesting. <laughs> that is what they're doing here. I'm guessing they're separating families. They separate the kids from their parents. Yeah. Alright, so before I end this video, I'm going to eventually... Uh, loot the entire place, but I want to see if I missed any major rooms. I think I missed that whole thing over here. Yeah, this whole thing here. I don't remember if we ever really looked around. Looks like this is where all the scientists were. Yep, the assistants. Oh wow, look at this. It's crazy. And another view of the diner. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm like still half sick. Still half sick, people. A toy truck and a lot of good stuff to loot. A lot of good stuff. More beds. Where they kept the poor kids. They were like, kept here. Oh my god. Alright, so I guess that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm now going to do all the hard work of scavenging. It's probably going to take me a while. <laughs> and it'll take a couple trips. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.